center. There's no attracting force calling them to be a sphere. They just float. Gravity, out, right? gravity is a very weak force, so you need to have a substantial body in order to have an appreciable amount of gravity. So if you were weak, weak what, force that holds that holds trillions of pounds of ocean water to the ground. To, compared to the uh, nuclear forces, yes, and the electromagnetic force, yes. Gravity is, by comparison, much weaker than them, but ultimately governs everything. So when we look at other planets, and I, I often like to bring up you know, the moon of Miranda, uh, you know, which is around Neptune, I think. I mean, I, it, it, that is a sphere. You accept that that is a sphere, right? No. The, okay, so what is the moon Miranda? The moon Miranda? Mm -hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. What is the moon Miranda? Yeah, Neptune has. Is there a Neptune? In your universe? Sure. Okay. You, as so, a planet? And is Neptune a planet? Yeah, it dep depends what you're describing. It's not a cardboard a cutout made by the conspiracy, right? I mean, it's an actual planet, right? You mean like a physical planet that people can go to and stand is on and walk on? Is it a supernatural on? planet? Of course it's a physical planet. Yes, is it a no, planet? No, it's not of course it's a physical. You're, you're, pre, you're assuming is that. Is there another because, option? Sure, it's a light in the sky. How about that? A light in the sky. Sure. A, a light in the sky that has a polar... Um, Aurora? Sure. A light in the sky can have a polar aurora. I, I have no doubt that it does. Yeah, sure. Okay. A, a light in the sky that's 70,000 miles across and spherical. No, I wouldn't go that far. I never said that. I certainly okay. don't believe so that So describe this light the in the sky then, because what I'm seeing is you know, a physical planet, and it has moons around it, several of them. Okay. You've, you've seen that, that you've planets seen that? exist. Well, I want to ask first if you've seen that. Yes. You've seen moons around Neptune. No, I've seen moons around Saturn. Okay, but you just said Neptune. Yes, I was talking about Neptune, but I've also seen the moons around. I've seen two of the moons around Saturn. From a telescope? Yes. What telescope? A very large telescope that one of my friends had. I could never get my own telescope. My I, my own telescopes were never that big, but he had one of those ridiculous, broad, giant four thousand dollar things, and so yes, I was able to see not only Saturn and its rings, but two of its moons. Okay, I don't know if that's true, but I have not personally heard of anyone saying that they've seen Saturn's moons. But I have seen, I myself have seen Jupiter's moons with, uh, with a camera. So I know okay, that that's... So, so you, you accept that there are planets? That there are things in the sky, yes. That they're as big are as they, they tell us? these no. things in the sky, are they large gas giant spheres? No, okay, I don't what are they? I don't know. I mean, I, to, to... Okay, so you them, don't know what they are, but you know no. what they're not. Correct. And how do you know what they're not? Because what they had to do was teach us in a way that is, you know, it's an indoctrinating way that they took control of these, you know, these books, these, uh, you know, textbooks. They put this in there and they've called people who who study them really closely and become proficient in those texts. They give them PhDs like Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's never been there. He's never been to anywhere in the so you don't, universe. You don't do any study of astronomy whatsoever. But what do you mean? Are, I look into it. What do you well, mean? You, you look through a telescope once, but you don't do any, sure. any astronomy whatsoever. You haven't mapped, you haven't charted the motions of these planets, which I'm sure you know was a huge well, problem for Kepler and others, right? The sure. motions that these planets make and how to calculate them. You understand yeah, that was a problem, right? They have the same They have the same data as from the Almagus. So to say that they were observing or Copernicus was observing those things is probably not the case. So they, they, they were just, hallucinating? They copied it. They, they copied the data. So, so, so Kepler and others that were trying to to to, to chart these and, and oh, I forget what his name is now. Uh, uh, Tycho, Tycho Brahe. yeah, Tycho Brahe. And, and when they compare their data, right, and they're they're getting their own data and they're comparing to make sure that they get their figures right, they're just copying each other and they're just copying well, some older guy. They're making their own observations. You understand? They're making their own observations, right? Their observations match identically to the Almagus, which was 1,500 years earlier. So, no, I don't Except think that, that they, they don't, because they're, they're still trying to make their own observations of the motions of planets, including planets that hadn't been discovered yet okay. and have only since been discovered only in the last 300 years or so. So now they're, they're adding what? planets that weren't even on the charts before, and they're still who marking their what? Who, who added planets? Copernicus added planets? Do you know nothing of history either? I'm, I, I mean, obviously I mean, when, do you, when do you think that they, uh, they discovered... Um, Pluto, for example. I mean, Pluto was discovered, what, 150 years ago, 200 years ago, something like that? Okay, so I asked you about Copernicus, and you said he was adding planets that weren't there in the 1500s. I didn't say that years. Copernicus himself was adding planets. I'm saying that the, the, the people doing the studies are discovering other planets that hadn't been discovered, like in ancient Greece or whatever. It wasn't okay. the same data, because they only knew, what, what, what in, in, what, 2,000 years ago, they only knew about, like, four planets. Five, and, but I said that the 
they Copernicus and them copied from another text, Almagus. And then you said no, they didn't because they added was planets. Pluto, which was, they it, didn't. was Pluto in Almagus? Nope, and it wasn't in okay. Copernicus's work either. Then they then they weren't then they weren't copying it, were they? That makes no sense. If they discover a planet after Amalgus, then it couldn't have been there, right? And so Copernicus's work, Copernicus's work did not include Pluto, and neither did the Almagus. Okay. He wasn't saying. I don't, he wasn't saying that that it did include that. What he's saying is that that science since then have introduced because um, other they're making planets. their own independent observations, and yeah. in so doing, they discover more than the original four planets. Now they have more. Okay. Sure. Got gotcha. you. Okay, so I mean, obviously they're not just copying each other. Okay. So how do you? I don't, I don't know. I don't know where to go with this. The entirety of your argument can't be that you don't trust anything anybody says, and incredulity. You don't know, but you know it's not. You you know more than the experts without knowing anything. That that can't be your position. Okay. Well, my position is that these so-called experts are simply given that title because they read very carefully and they're proficient in repeating what is in the textbooks. Except and they became... when they make independent observations, as we've just established. Okay. So they've made these independent observations of lights in the sky. Okay. Right? And these lights in the sky, for example, I mean, like, okay. uh, let's, let's look at the, uh, the confirmation of Einstein's uh, relativity back in like 1911 or 1931, something like that where rel relativity had predicted that you would be able to see a distortion w during the eclipse. You'd be able to see stars that you shouldn't have been able to see otherwise, and they actually verified that in the 1930s. Or is that part of the Great Conspiracy, too? Well, have you verified that? I wasn't there in 1931. Okay, so you're, you're going to trust... But I was there less than a year ago, standing under a full solar eclipse in, uh, I think it's North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like to, to so go did with you, that... Sure, uh, did, you, did you notice a, a temperature drop... When you, yes. when the, okay, so now when you watch a sunset and the sun pe you know, sets behind the uh, curvature of the earth, as you might say, why is there no temperature drop? There is. No, there's not. It's been yes, tested. there is. Okay, there's maybe a half I, a degree. I, half there, a degree. No, there's, it, it depends on where you live. If, I, if you're in the desert, it drops immediately. Okay, but how much? Because during the eclipse, it drops quite, quite a bit. I've lived in the desert. Real quick, if I may, uh, if either you gentlemen think that you're being interrupted or have anything needing mod control, feel free to ask me or Kyle at any time. I'm just letting this have a free form discussion between you two, and I figured you can either one of you can stop at any time and say, "Hey, can I okay. can I uh, get a little bit of mod control?" Okay. Yeah. Well, we need to have we need to have a model. We can't. The, the argument can't just be that you don't trust anything anybody says. Even when they're even when I'm I'm providing my own eyewitness accounts, we, we it can't just be that. You have okay. to have some kind of model that we can explore. So what is it? Well, the model is that the Earth is a plane, and that but it's, it is. But, it, but it's a, a finite plane. It's a finite plane. Yes. Okay. I don't In know where it case, ends. We then then have to jump to the other questions that I asked okay. you about. Okay, I was going to answer that. Okay. So you, well, you asked earlier about what what it was that made me think that the Earth could be flat, and it started with. Uh, being interested in looking into it and saying, well, you can't possibly fly around the earth. I've flown around the world. Uh, my wife's gone east and gone all the way to Germany from the United States. I've gone west and gone to the Philippines. So I said, this you know, clearly can't be the case. It cannot be flat. I tried to debunk it like everyone has. And then I looked into it and said, well, let me look at circumnavigation um, north-south. That was the first thing I wanted to see. So circumnavigation north-south because it can't exist on this map that everyone shows the uh, FE map or the AE map. So when I went looking, I saw some guy. His name was ZQ Pilot. He's on Facebook. You can go look him up. He was going to set the record for the uh, fastest plane journey, north-south circumnavigation. So he had his little plan lined up. I watched it live. Um, well, I didn't watch till he got to Brazil. But he flew from North Carolina to Brazil, and then he was supposed to go Brazil to New Zealand. He went Brazil to the 90-degree mark, turned around, and went back to Brazil. Then went from Brazil to New Zealand, New Zealand to Alaska, to the North Pole, and back to North Carolina. So I said, oh, that's too bad. I guess he's not going to get the... Record, he certainly didn't circumnavigate. Look it up. He was given the record for circumnavigation, even though he went from Brazil to South Pole, turned around, came back and said the weather was too too crazy over there. He couldn't go across the South Pole. He, he went from Brazil to the South Pole. And where was his first position? He started in North Carolina. Started in North Carolina. And that doesn't qualify? He went from North Carolina to Brazil, then Brazil mm -hmm. to the South Pole, turned around and went back to Brazil. Okay. Then went Brazil to North Car uh, Brazil to New Zealand, okay. then New was, Zealand to Alaska, and Alaska to the okay. North were Pole. You, were you ex were you expecting him to cross the pole? Correct. That was his his plan. 
his layout, his his flight plan was to cross the okay, South so Pole. So the, the problem is that he didn't cross the, the the South Pole, and so that means the South Pole doesn't exist. Well, nobody's pretty much across the South Pole. I uh, mean, I know people who've been to Antarctica. Okay, is is that the problem? No, Antarctica is, is a exists. You just cannot right. cross it. It's not a it's not a continent to cross. Well, I mean, people have crossed it. They've got satellite photos and such, but you know, it, 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 it takes a little bit more photos. than a conventional plane. Satellites stop before they get to the 90 degree no, mark. You can, you can look at any data. It's all a I, circle. I, can, I have satellite. looked at any data. I've looked at lots of data that shows, yeah, full-on satellite images of the South Pole. Satellite so, yeah, images of the South Pole? Yeah. That's what you're saying? You've seen? Yes. Okay. So, I mean, this is... I, 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 so you I, said you can look at any data. I've looked at any data. Okay, I've I seen it. People, and I encourage people to do their own research. Do not okay. trust me. Do not trust Iran. You need to go look at it. And I, I see... encourage people to do their own research, too. I mean, there's a number of things that, that disprove what you're saying, and you're missing all the cues. You have to have a model. Remember, you have this plat plane, right? Now, we were talking about the other planets for a moment, and okay. you said there are lights in the sky. What I didn't. I don't know what they are. To say that there are lights in the sky would be like me making okay, a statement. Would it, would it be that lights I know in the sky with different bands of colors and moons around them? Are the moons also lights in the sky? They assume to be. They look. Are they be. moons? Are the moons made of dirt? I don't think so. No. Is how, the, how would is you, our moon made of dirt? I don't think so. No. What is our moon made of? Green, is it green cheese? Uh, nope. I don't think it's cheese either. Okay. What What is the moon made of? I don't know. I know okay, no one's so been there. You'd know it's not dirt. How I know do you know it, it's not dirt. Uh, I guess you can't say I know it's not dirt. I know no one's been there, so I could you wouldn't say that know. You yet. know, it's you don't know that it's not a planet. That you don't know that it's not dirt. You don't. You don't Correct. know that it's not any of the things you say that you know it's not, because it in Correct. fact is that. And you can't just say I don't know what it is, but I know what it's not. That's not a valid argument. Okay, my argument is that no one's been there, so nobody knows what it but is. But somebody has been there. Okay, and that's your position that you you believe that uh, you know in 1969 that we sent men to the moon. We did it six and times. We with set up people. we set we set up mirror reflectors up there and still communicate back and forth to the moon that way. Yes. Okay. Well, they ref, they and you also back. see the moon at a different angle okay, from can, the northern states than you do in the southern climes. Which would be the same thing on a flat model. Put a circle on top of your ceiling in your bedroom. Mark an A on one side and a B on the do other. That because you can't see the North Star from uh, where Australia, where I've been, and you and I've, where I've seen the Southern Cross there, and you can't see the Southern Cross from the Northern climbs. Yeah, those are too far. What are you talking about? What does that? Yeah, because it only they're only too far if the worth if the world is a globe. If it's flat, you'd still be able to see them. That's not true. You can't. Okay, go is into the a sky bedroom. a dome. No, but go into your bedroom and, and then what and, is the sky made of? Let me answer your question first. If you're going to just keep asking questions, how am I going to answer them? If you look at the room that you're in right now, it's probably got an eight-foot ceiling. Imagine that room is five miles long. So you've got five miles of room. If you had a light on top of that ceiling, after about two miles, it will converge with the floor. You will not see the light anymore. So how how can you say if there's this? will never happen. That that would not happen. Now, if you're talking about the curvature of the Earth in a five-mile room, then that's something to take into account. But if it is actually level, if this actually was a plane, there would never be a time where the sun disappeared below the horizon. Well, it doesn't really disappear below the horizon, so that's where you're mistaken. Okay, so like three days ago, I was Mm -hmm. on a plane flying back from Milwaukee, and the sun went down before we landed. The sun went away from you. Mm -hmm. The sun went, from our perspective, the sun goes down before we landed, so... At one point, we see the sunlight on the top of the clouds as well as on the plane. Okay, well, actually, then, if you're in a plane, then though, the, the sun, sun goes down to the point where the clouds are no longer lit. And we know that if we were on the ground, we would have called that sundown. The sun has gone down from the perspective of the ground. But me in a plane, 35,000 feet up, I'm still fully lit. I can okay. still see the sun, even though the clouds below me cannot see the sun anymore. Okay, so from a plane, from your position in a plane, then you do understand that the sun is stationary, right? So actually the sun is not going down anywhere. It's if actually the heliocentric the model is correct, then yes, the sun is stationary. Okay, so then you're spinning, and the, the actual Earth spinning with its atmosphere is carrying your plane backwards to where that's what's causing the sunset. Why would that's it be calling backwards? That's the way, that's the There's only no way. There's no such thing as sun... backwards in this case. Here we go. The, how do you not understand what I'm saying? If you see the sun set. Because you're not and, saying things that make sense. There's no such thing as backwards in this case. Okay, you're in a plane. Which which window was the sun out of? We were flying south, so the the uh, sun was out of the right window. Okay, then if you watch the sunset, then you were being tipped with the Earth to the left, causing you to see the sunset. So the Earth, the entire plane of the Earth, does this. 
What? The I'm entire asking, this plane is in of your mind.